I used to, when I first read and I just Googled about making my own sugar water or nectar, uh, it always said boil it for two minutes. Yes. But Richard says, yeah. no, you don't have to boil no. it. Just get there's, it. There's two reasons not to boil it for two minutes. One, when you put your proportions in there, yes. four parts water, one part sugar, yep. and you boil it for a whole lot of time, the water starts going away, right. and it leaves a mixture that's probably a little stronger than it needs to be. Mm -hmm. The other thing is you're wasting your time boiling it because you're going to boil this, put it in a hummingbird feeder, hang it outside fully exposed to the elements. Well, they say that it needs to burn off something, and yeah. I can't remember what it was, but you said I've heard all no. kinds of reasons for no, it. No, that you don't need to but, do that. But uh, it says it won't dissolve if you don't. Yes, it'll dissolve quite fine. Just yes, warm tap dissolve. water, and you stir it a moment, it fully dissolves, and it's, and it's crystal clear. That's how you know it's dissolved, right. and you just fill it feeder. Put it in the refrigerator after, you know, mm -hmm. I usually make up a, a, a batch of it like this. I'll put it in the refrigerator, or I'll store this in the refrigerator after opening, yeah. and just pour it into my feeders, uh, when they're ready, I'll mm -hmm. do that several times a day. Yeah. Depending on which uh, rotation on theaters. So you can do that. Uh, I, I highly recommend this stuff right here because yeah. the birds love it. Yeah. Uh, if you're mixing your own, just four parts water, one part sugar. Don't worry about the boiling stuff. Just keep your feeders clean. Yeah. And the store-bought stuff, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, I don't recommend it. Hello, this is Richard Cole. I want to thank each of you for watching, and I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to share it.